Hi, my name is Neil Tappin, and you join me at the practice ground at the Wisley, where today uh, editor Mike Harris and I have been testing uh, Taylor May's new R11 irons. Now, everyone knows the success of the R11 driver, the, the first um, sort of big white driver to hit the market, very, very popular. I mean, we've heard from retailers just how well it's done. Um, so it was inevitable that Taylor May were going to bring out an R11 iron, and what they've tried to do here is to produce a club that delivers the feel of the tour preferred iron with the forgiveness of, uh, of the burner 2.0 that they have. Um, and you have to say that having hit them, the performance is very impressive. Um, the, the top line is, is fairly thick, but not something that uh, even a low handicapper would probably be too upset with looking down on. And the forgiveness really is there. Right across from the, from the heel to the toe, there is plenty of forgiveness in there. Um, and it's not just the top line. The fact that when you look down under the club at a dress, you've got plenty of surface area to hit, I think could make a big difference for those people in the kind of low to mid handicap bracket that maybe don't get to play as often as they might want to, and certainly want that little bit of forgiveness that this would offer. Um, one other point to make about this set is that Taylor made a put a little tuning port in the back here that can be adjusted. Now that really is for the for the fitter and not really for the player himself, but it just means that when the fitting process uh, takes place, the fitter can make sure that the weight of the club is absolutely to your spec, what you need. Um, so the R11 is very impressive performer. Both Mike and I really enjoyed uh, the way that they, these were playing. Um, for an eight uh, for an eight club set, you're looking at something like 699. Uh, they'll hit the shelves in September the 1st. So for more information, including technical specs and, and bonus galleries, go to, go to the Golf Monthly website. But for now, from the Wisley, it's goodbye.